Simulator games. I don't think they really need an explanation. The name kinda says it all. Games that simulate a reality, usually one that's actually real, but sometimes one that's fictional. With the real ones you could think of games like Power Wash Simulator, or Microsoft Flight Simulator, Bus Simulator, Farming Simulator, even Supermarket Simulator. Games that are all about experiencing what it's like to do a certain job from the comfort of your own home or wherever your Steam Deck has brought you beyond your couch. There are some of the most popular games out there with millions and millions of players. But why? Why are we so eager to spend 8-9 to nine hours a day doing our regular day job just to come home and pretend to be doing someone else's job? Well, there are some layers to this question or at least the answer to it. But overall, it's pretty simple. We want to experience things without having to put in all the effort. Don't get me wrong, some of these simulator games are very deep. They require your entire brain capacity and can get incredibly realistic. I personally don't play Microsoft Flight Simulator because while I like the idea of flying across the entire world in a plane controlled by me, the fact that every single button on the screen right now has its own function makes me think I might as well just study to be a pilot. And frankly, I don't want to. But that's just the thing. Some people do. Or, well, maybe they don't want to be an actual pilot, but they like the idea of exploring the planet as if they are one. A, a pilot, that is, not a planet. Simulator games are all about experiences, and some games allow you to experience those to the fullest without having to leave the comfort of your home. Isn't that incredible? You can get the real thing, nearly, without having to spend years getting licenses, certificates, and more licenses. You kinda just do it. I really like Power Watch Simulator. It's an incredibly satisfying experience where every time you finish cleaning an object, you get such an high doses of serotonin and dopamine, you'll be on a high long enough enough for you to be able to clean the next object. So yeah, clearly there's a reason millions of people have played the game. And there's a reason I've played it for about 40 hours, which I don't do with a lot of games. But I would never, and I mean absolutely never, voluntarily power watch something in real life. Why? Well, for one, I seriously despise the sound it makes. In the game, however, I can mute it, or almost mute it because I like at least a tiny bit of noise when playing a video game. And it also allows me to still watch Criminal Minds on the side without losing my mind. But in reality, I just really, really hate how loud and constant it is. The headache I get from the never-ending buzzing is just unbelievable. Besides that, cleaning is nowhere near as satisfying as it is in the game. You get dirty and it takes ages for something to look properly clean like in the game. And that's the main problem, really. It's real life versus a video game. A video game is designed not only to somewhat resemble the real thing, but also to satisfy the player's game needs. Moving this stream of water all over the wall, leaving trails of cleanliness, and as you get further and further in the level, things get shinier and shinier, and you constantly get the reassuring ping noise when you finish cleaning an object to remind you that you're doing a good job, that it's actually possible for you to complete this massive undertaking. You don't have that in real life. Because in real life, you get sweaty and dirty, like I said, and only a fraction of the satisfaction. I'm sure it can be satisfying in real life, but real power washers aren't designed to be satisfying. They're designed to clean surfaces that are otherwise difficult to clean. Simulated games allow us to experience jobs we would otherwise probably not be interested in pursuing. And they allow us to do it in a way that makes us want to do it over and over and over again. I don't know how to build computers, but PC building simulator makes me feel like I do without ever having to mess up and waste my real money. Farming simulator allows me to answer my questions about what it could be like to be a farmer without it being 2D and in Pelican Town with imaginary soulmates. And Surgeon Simulator, well it's probably best to not use that as an example. Simulator games, as silly as they can get, are a great way to give people the opportunity to explore the opportunities of this world, while not constraining them, physically or legally, to anything in particular. You're free to be an accountant all day and then become a bus driver in your free time. Why not? Anyway, thanks for watching, subscribe, see you next time.